Hey YouTube, today I want to do a review on the Entex 16 foot by 42 inch Easy Set Pool. Um, you can find these at a lot of the discount stores. Uh, they run for, I've seen them I think a couple hundred bucks up to maybe 300. Pretty good buy I think for the money. This pool behind me is a year old. We got at the beginning of last season. One problem right off the bat that we noticed with it is the pump is weak. So the pumps that come with them, they claim they're rated for a thousand gallons an hour. I don't think they're quite doing that. Uh, maybe they are, but it just, it isn't enough for the pull. What ends up happening, we tried running it pretty much 24 seven even. We just couldn't keep the water going. We were using shock, different treatments. Uh, I had a pool guy end up telling me to drain it and start over again because you start spending so much money on chemical, it's not worth it to try and fix it, just start fresh. So that's what we did and even then we just continued to have problems with it. This year I've changed out my pump. I've got another video up that's going to cover that change out and show you guys what I did to try and correct the problem and we'll see how that goes. But getting back to the review side of this, overall we're happy with the pool. You have to make sure they're on level ground. That I, I would think that's obvious but you know it's, it's really got to be level. You can't just look and say oh yeah that looks level and throw the pool down because once you get a thousand gallons of water in it and it decides it wants to start rolling out the one side you're going to be draining it to move it again you're not moving it with water in it it's just too heavy that's one thing to keep in mind on this one the outer ring we have a slow leak in it we haven't been able to locate it that happened over the winter it was in storage i'm not going to blame the manufacturer for that that's something that could have happened to us the first season it held so obviously we must have either punctured it or, or something is leaking somewhere and uh, hopefully we'll find that but uh, that's the only downside to it we've been we've been happy with it for the money we, we've been really happy except for the pump situation so if you buy one of these plan on getting yourself a, a better pump and uh, the one I'm using in, in, uh, in my replacement is probably oversized you don't have to go to the level that I did if you watch the other video but uh, it, I just did it to give you an option now this one here also uh, you can probably see there's some dirt on the sides we're gonna bleach it up this is the first fill of the season we just got it set up the other day and I was dealing with this pump situation before we set it up for the first time though Mrs. Bird really went around the whole inside and uh, cleaned it out with like a bleach water mixture so you're gonna want to do that when you set it up get your inside clean if you can get to your outside do that as well but since we were gonna be rubbing it around in the sand getting it level we figured why bother once it's set up we'll, uh, we'll you can see there's some markings we're just going to go around and clean those off uh, once we have this up and operational. All right, guys. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.